Well, it's half six on a Sunday morning and I'm out for a run. It's been ages since I've done this. Must be, or oh, it's months. Months since I've gone for a run from the house. I'm gonna do a couple of miles, see how I get on. And it must be about a year since I've got up half six in the morning and gone for a run. God, this feels like, feels like the old days. Oh, I'm afraid Let's get you on camera. <laughs> Don't know if we got Fraser on camera there, but the guy who was watering the plants 30 years ago, I used to work in a pizza place. He used to work in the cinema. I used to take him off pizzas. That get me, get me into the cinema. <laughs> Good old Fraser. Oh shit, I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, you can tell it's been a while. Right, next left. Now, I've not been stopping, putting the camera down and taking video clips of running past because today is all about concentrating on getting this done, make sure I feel okay. So far, so good. A bit out of breath, but just take it easy. So, just been sticking to the road, nothing on a trail. I think it best. Get used to running on the road again before I get to the trail. A load of building work going on over here. This is a new hospital they're building. There we go. Just finishing up. 2.3 miles. Felt okay. Which is really encouraging. See how I feel later. A day or two, maybe get out again. So, how's it going, everyone? So, it's me and Jake off out for a run. Uh, so, first run together for ages. And we're going to take our drone as well and try and get a bit of drone footage. So, we're off to a place called Carbridge. We're going to go at the back of Carbridge, run along the road for a bit, and then down a very short section of trail to Sluggin Bridge. And it'll be a bit, bit stop-starty because we're going to get the drone out and try and get a few shots because today it's going to be, or this morning, it's going to be dry. So we need to choose the days where we can take the drone out at the moment because it's been, it's been wet a lot so you can't really fly the it drone. It has been wet a lot. Yeah, it has been wet just a little bit. Yeah, maybe. even when it wasn't raining it got wet. Yeah, even when it wasn't raining it got wet. Well, yeah, when you crashed it in the river. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Okay, so just pause to pause the watch, stop for a second, and we're just setting up the drone. So Jake is just turning it on, yeah. and it's down here. I'm off. I'm off, and Jake is following me with the drone. Let's hope he doesn't fly into me. Looks like Jake's <laughs> leaving the drone with me. Now he's running down here. So that's us on a trail now. All right, Jake's just headed off down that way. A uh, bit of a conversation with him as to so like filming. It's like it's, it's a bit different having this, having two of you out filming with the drone, one being away and one running through. So it's actually quite a lot to think of. So a lot of stopping and starting. 
So he's just gone down there. I've just described to him where he needs to go. Hopefully he finds it. <laughs> Should be a, a lodge on the left down here on the path somewhere where the, the ground opens up. And then I can come through the trees and then towards uh, the old Slugin Bridge uh, and the river. So let's see how this turns out. Hopefully it's good. But there's quite a lot that goes into making these videos. That's what I'm trying to point out. So I was getting eaten alive by midges back there, just waiting for a bit. So decided to head off. Hopefully Jake has found the right spot, set the drone up and he's ready. Let's soon find out. So it's another stop start now. It's another conversation with Jake. So he's ran up. Oh, where's he going? <laughs> he's going somewhere different. Don't go up there. Oh, you muppet. <laughs> right. So a little conversation with Jake as to where he's supposed to go to take the picture. And he's just gone somewhere else. But that's fine. <laughs> it's all a learning curve, this. So he's on top of the bridge. He's got the drone up. I'm going to run over. Run over to him. Here he goes. How you doing, Jake? Good. Um, yeah. Top of the bridge. Knackered. Okay, another discussion with Jake. And now, yeah, me walking back and running back up this bloody hill again. <laughs> Backwards and forwards, stop, start. But hopefully, this clip should look quite nice. There's the drone just up there. Running up and down this bridge is quite tiring. <laughs> Here's Jake with the drone doing take 700. So loads running about here. Today's basically been figuring out what sort of shots to take uh, with the drone. What have you thought, Jake? Uh, yeah, it's been quite hard work actually. Yeah. Um, just angles, familiarising yourself with controls when you've not used it in over a week. And, yeah, just trying um, to think of different positions and shots to come up with. So, how is my getting back to running going? It's going okay. Well, after the four mile run the other day with Jake, where we shot some drone footage, the following day, I ended up in bed all afternoon. So I'm not sure if that was a case of, I was out for a bit long, because we were out for a while, or I'd changed the strength of my medication that day as well. So I'm uh, sneaking suspicion, it may have been that. But whichever it was, it is a reminder to me to just take things easy. God, they're beasties. They're landing on me and eating me alive. So yeah, take it easy. So today, <laughs> today I thought I'll head out. Two mile, nice slow easy run. I got to the turning point. Went straight past it, and now I'm going to be, I don't know, about three, three and a half miles. It's hard for you to do what your head tells you to. My head says take it easy. Well, some days it says take it easy. Other days it says go for it. <laughs> what beasties all over the camera. Get away. Man, alive. Summer in Scotland. So I'm trying on today's run to keep my heart rate low. So I've always struggled to keep my heart rate low. It always goes through the roof. So I'm trying, whether or not I'll succeed, we'll see at the end, to keep it about 150. 
which is low for me. So it's something I certainly need to work on. It does mean I'm going very, very slowly, but I am still getting out of breath very quickly. So it's probably a good thing to do. You will have noticed as well, I'm on a trail. Yeah, I've been itching to get on a trail. So yeah, I've done two or three short runs on the road. Now I'm just on a familiar trail. Now I've been doing uh, between an hour and a half and two hours in the gym, in the cave, every day, about six days a week, past couple of weeks. So it's been nothing too strenuous. Uh, yoga, rehab exercises, a rowing machine and bike. So I'm just trying to do what I'm supposed to do, come back stronger. So my body's going to thank me for it if I stick with this, which I'm going to. I've definitely put on a fair bit of weight as well. Definitely heavier than there was by some considerable margin. So I could do with getting some miles in to lose a few pounds. I'm not sure how many people actually watch till the end of a video so I'm going to talk you out with the best of my Italian Buongiorno Ferrari Spaghetti Bolognese Arabidacci <laughs> Have I said Ferrari? <laughs> Lamborghini <laughs> Fiat Yeah, it's getting tricky. <laughs> Buongiorno! 